What's going on guys? So Mighty back at it again with your weekly Rust skins videos. So today as you guys can straight up see, we've got the Azul set. It's uh, it's released for this week. We've also got some uh, other cowboy stuff which I'm personally not a fan of. And then we've also got some Shadow Frack stuff. So this is going to be pretty interesting. So we'll start off with the clothing. As you can see there's quite a lot. So we're just going to run down with the Azul set first. Let's quickly have a little peek at this. My internet might go a little bit slow. I'm updating Windows 10 at the moment. Yay. So we've got the Azul Road sign. This is just the kilt. So that's starting off at a dollar and forty cents. It's a pretty unique looking skin because I don't think we actually have any just black and blue road sign uh, sets at all. I know there is like some blue on some of the road sign sets, but this one looks pretty cool. And I am a fan. It's pretty basic, but I think it gets the job done. And I think this would actually look really good with the uh, that training hoodie and pants. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I can't remember. Like the black one that came out like two weeks ago or something. I think that this would look pretty cool with that. So um, the only problem is there is the possibility of these getting oversaturated because I know a little someone, someone that bought a hundred of these already. I know you're watching right now, dude. So that's going to start off at a dollar and forty cents. I'd still say invest in them because I still think that they're worth they're worth the dollar forty. I think they're going to go up in price. So we'll add a few of those to the cart and we'll continue over to the next item, which is going to be just the vest. Uh, the pictures look the same to me. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, but yeah, they're definitely all the same. Okay, yeah, so there's not really much to add on from this. The pictures are all the same, so I'll just say this is also probably worth investing in. I don't think it's going to be as successful as the kilt as usual, so we won't buy as many of them. And we'll move over straight up to the Azul helmet, just so we can go through all of the Azul stuff instead of going through all the clothing first. So I know that the helmet is in armor. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the only picture that's actually different out of all of them, but um, there might have been an actual jacket in the um, road sign vest one, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. So this one's going for a dollar forty as well, just to complete the set. They're all a dollar forty, and I do think that this will also be pretty successful. And it looks like it's got a little smiley face just there, so that's kind of cool. It's a pretty unique looking skin, so I do think it's going to be successful. Um, the whole set overall, it looks pretty good, and the Zul Python and AK have done pretty well, so I think this will also do well. Once one thing is done well, then th usually the rest of the set does well. Which okay, starting off with the cowboy sheriff hat. Everything here is going for a dollar forty. I'm pretty sure it just said cowboy sheriff hat dollar forty. We'll quickly go through these. So I looked at this earlier on my phone um, while I was on my break from work, and I noticed this fourth picture clearly has a bandana. So does that mean the bandana is always going to be there? Although in this picture here, you can clearly see it doesn't. So I just, I don't know, does this shirt have the bandana skin on it or something? Like what? what's the go here? I'm not really sure what's with these pictures, but as you can see, there's clearly no bandana there, so it must be the must be the shirt um, because you can see it's obviously here. So I'm not really sure what the go is with that, but this boonie cap looks so much better, so 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 much better than last week's boonie cap, which looked hideous, as I said. Um, so I do think that this one's going to perform heaps better. And I also do think that this would have negative, negatively in affected uh, last week's boonie cap, uh, which I said last week that it probably would. So we'll add a few of those to the cart. I do think in the long run these ones are going to be pretty successful. And we will move over to the Cowboy Sheriff hoodie and then the pants. These are going for $3.50 each. I think these are hideous. I really just don't like cowboy stuff, but I'm just going to buy a pair anyway. Um, as for their investment, it's going to be a little risky because this is a unique looking skin uh, set. But I don't really know how many of the Ross players like cowboy stuff. As I said, I'm personally not a fan. I'm sure there's also a lot of people that aren't a fan, but there's probably some people that love cowboy stuff and role playing as a sheriff. So $3.50, you can't go wrong. We'll add, I'll just add one of these to the cart today. I'm not really going to 
risk investing in these and losing money if they aren't successful because I don't even really want these in my inventory. But um, yeah, that's my personal feelings on it. I actually like what they've done with the hoodie here. They've turned it into the bandana. I like that. That's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, moving over to the pants, also going for $3.40. If you were to buy either of the two, I'd recommend buying these. We already do have some chaps pants, which are probably just called chaps pants or something. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're on the last page, as in the most expensive uh, pants. But they are black with blue pants, I'm pretty sure, instead of brown with blue pants. So they're going for quite a high price, but I'm assuming that was because they were the only actual black pants then, whereas now obviously we've got the training pants, so now we actually do have some black pants, and I'm not talking about black as in the default black, as the default pants, because they're grey, let's be real. Uh, do I think that this will be a good investment? <laughs> they're starting off at $3.50, but as I just said a second ago when I was talking about the hoodie, I don't think that a lot of people are going to love this skin, so that means that they're probably going to be semi-rare, and because they're $3.50, I think that that's probably also going to make them even rarer. So, I, I still think uh, a lot of people will buy them, but I don't think that they're going to get oversaturated on the market. So, I don't think that these are going to be a bad buy, but $3.50, I don't think they're also going to make you that much money uh, in short term. And if you want to... Uh, buy stuff during the Steam Summer Sale, then I wouldn't really recommend it. Alright, moving over to the Jockey Cap, and this is going to be a whole Jockey set. So this is a Baseball Cap, okay. I've already got the Friendly Baseball Cap, and I think that's the best skin in the game. Um, one of. This is a cool skin, actually. It's got a shortened brim by the looks of it. Um, so I hope that doesn't look weird in-game when you actually look at your character model, but I personally think that this is actually a pretty cool skin, like, it's got like the little goggles on it, um, the shortened brim. This is a unique skin, there really isn't that many baseball caps in the community market, and they're only going for a dollar and forty cents. So, I do think that this would probably be a relatively safe buy, um, because they are pretty cheap, and there really isn't that many, as I already said, there really isn't that many baseball caps skins in the community market, so uh, I don't think the demand for them is going to be very high, but in saying that, the supply for them also isn't very high, so I do think that in the long run, that will make the price of this go up, so I don't think that this would be a bad purchase at all. I think this would be pretty good. Um, and overall, just look at this set, like that's a complete role player set. I think it's a good troll, uh, and I don't think it's a bad set myself. So I think it's pretty cool. Moving over to this jockey hoodie. We've got a little bit of checkered design here. We've got a number. I think it says number 5 or something. Let's see if we can have a look. For some reason they decided to cut it out in the picture. Yeah, it's number 5. Okay. I think that this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool skin. This is unique. You don't really see any uh, checkered or diamonds shaped uh, hoodie skins. Whatever pattern you want to call that. Um, really besides like that PvP Chad shirt, uh, no textures, that's what it's called, no texture shirt, um, and the red and either black or white, I can't remember what the colour scheme is, um, uh, shirt that isn't the hide shirt, but it's the other one that's made out of leather. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I, I think that this is pretty unique, and I do think that this is going to be a pretty good skin, and I do think that it will go up in price, so I think it will be worth investing in. Also, adding on to all of that, it is a Shadow Frax skin. As you can see, there's his little emblem, and obviously Shadow Frax is a very loved YouTuber in the Rust community, and I do think that because of that, this will also make his uh, will make this person's skin more successful. So I'm not really sure if uh, any of the money for these skins will be going towards Shadow Frax or to Shadow Frax, but if they are, then I think that they will sell even more. But I'm sure a lot of his fans or all of his fans will buy this just because it's got the little Shadow Frax lo logo on it anyway, and I'm sure that there's probably a bloody 
pie Easter egg somewhere on here because I watched his video this morning and he said that there was an Easter egg on one of the skins. I'm assuming he was talking about the hoodie and it's probably a pie because he always talks about them. So we'll add those to the cart. I think I all right, I'm not going to talk too much about these ones because I've already talked a lot about the hoodie, but just adding on to it, they're relatively unique with their little red stripes and red pockets. Also, it's got a Shadow Frax logo on it still, so I still think that that's going to boost the numbers. Also, they're another pair of white pants. So as we all know, the Glory pants are white. They were very successful. To be fair, the Glory set was successful. These, I don't think, are going to be as successful, but these will be a cheaper version of the Glory pants. So I do think that the demand for these will still be high for the people that just don't want to spend that extra few dollars and buy the Glory set. So either way, white pants pretty much make it the price go up. So I think that that will make it a decent investment. So we'll add a few of those to the card as well. Okay, so we've got the horseshoe box starting at $2.10 as you can see. Straight up, I did not like this skin. I've already told you guys, I'm not really a big fan of cowboy stuff. Um, there really isn't, I, I really don't have very positive thoughts about this, but to try and keep it open minded, I do think that the finish on this skin is pretty nice. It's pretty well detailed, like the wood, you can see like all the texture of it. And this uh, little metal thing here actually does look like it's popping from um, from the top instead of it just being flat. So I do think that that is um, a pretty good little uh, skin made by the uh, artist. Just looking at the front, also makes it look like these two horses here are like popping out compared to the actual wood. So I do think that the artist has actually done a pretty good job on this. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm not a massive fan of this kind of stuff, so I'm not going to buy it. And to be honest, I don't really think that the skin is going to go up massively. Uh, over to the Rust Rider door. This is starting off at $3.50. I think they've changed the look of this skin because it looks uh, a little more clear to see. Um... Unless it looks the same, I don't really remember, but I think this skin looks better than what I saw last time. Uh, it looks better in game as well. You can quite easily tell that that's dome. You'd have to see what it looked like from a distance, which clearly there isn't really any pictures of it from far away, but I think that this is a good skin. $3.50. Uh, do I think it's really going to go up from that much? To be honest, not really. Um... It's kind of like mid-tier and like the top sellers, so the, I, I don't think that there's going to be oversaturation for it, so don't get me wrong there, but it's starting off at $3.50. I really don't think it's going to go that much higher. Um, it's a pretty cool looking skin, but I mean, there's, in my opinion, a lot cooler looking garage door skins, but we'll add one of those to the cart. I wouldn't recommend to you guys adding it to the cart, because I don't think it's going to make a massive amount of money, but we'll move over and that is my thoughts on the garage door and all of the skins for this week all right guys this is the cart for this week as you can see it is pretty damn long so next week's results video is going to definitely look different compared to what it usually looks like because I'm not doing this screen I'll do the next screen all right guys we are going to do the results from this page this week um, it's going to look weird, but this is how I'm going to have to do it, because this is a super long list. Um, I kind of wanted to remove some stuff. I actually did remove some stuff, I think. Uh, I think I removed a hoodie and, uh, I don't know, something else. But this is currently what it's looking like, and it costs us $31.50. I've already got $43.62 uh, in my account, because I sold some skins. Um, that I had duplicates of, so we'll just buy this. All right. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. So we're going on to the results of last week's skin. So this one is actually a pretty boring result uh, part of the video compared to usual. So the profits we would have made would have been $4.24 AUD or $2.91 USD. Uh, the max 
uh, total highest price that the car would have sold for would have been $23.84 AUD or $16.39 USD. And in AUD, the highest that each skin has sold for so far, uh, the Cowboy Hat, $1.46, El Dorado Door, $3.70, Cobalt Collar Fridge, $2.69, Northwind Bowmaster, $3.39, Cowboy shirt, $1.45. Cowboy pants, $1.47. So, the estimated total last week for the cart was $19.60. Uh, the max you would have been able to sell it for so far would have been $23.84. So, as I said, this hasn't been a very high uh, profit so far, so I wouldn't recommend selling your skins until they go up higher. But you would have made $4.24 max profit this week in Australian dollars. And that is as of the 15th of the 6th. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. And I'll see you guys next week. Alright, have a skits one, guys. Don't forget to join the Discord. And have a good week. See you guys. Have a skits one.